Hello, today we're going to be drawing a group of people in a crowded elevator. We're going to be thinking about overlap and what we can see from the people that are closest to us and how much of the people we can see that are farthest away from us. So to get started, we're going to look at um, some drawings and pictures of people in an elevator that's super crowded and the door has just opened and they're about ready to get off. Um, in this little drawn one here, you can see that the things that are closest to us are the only people that we can see all of. The ones that are farther back, the farther back they get, um, the less we see of them. So we're gonna be thinking today when we're drawing um, about overlap, who's closest and how much of um, which people we can see. Um, taller people, you would see their heads and shoulders and neck maybe. Um, the people in front, we would be able to see all of them. Okay, so um, we are gonna have certain characters that we wanna have in our picture. Um, we're gonna have a super tall lady with curly hair um, who's holding a pig on a leash. We're gonna have a girl with either a balloon or a flag. We're gonna have a clown right up front with big shoes and a floppy hat. Um, and we're going to have a soccer player. Um, some other ideas you might wanna think about is a rock star with a guitar, a policeman. Um, so just some uh, characters that you make up that are fun. We're gonna try and have at least eight different characters. So each table is gonna get an idea sheet, different ways you could draw a clown maybe, different ways you could draw a soccer player, different ways you could draw a pig for the pig on the leash picture. And then of course, um, the idea sheet for different people on an elevator, okay? So um, let's get started. We're gonna start. Okay, so we're gonna start today by writing our name and class code on the back. Um, then you're going to turn it over and we're going to be holding it in the um, hot dog portrait up and down position. Okay. We're going to first start by defining our elevator and we're going to do that um, with a ruler. Okay. Um, we're going to hold it at the top of the page and kind of lightly draw your lines because you are going to be able to um, erase certain parts of it. About the width of the ruler. I'm going to line the ruler up with the side of the page and about the width of the ruler I'm going to be putting a frame around all four sides of my paper. Okay. And then when you are done with that, um, you will have the outside of your elevator. Um, then you can decide, um, do you want to put the little numbers up here um, for which floors they're on? Um, and then we are going to, out to each corner, draw lines out like this, just to add some dimension to our elevator. And then you can erase away some of these extra lines here. All right, then you're gonna wanna think about who's up front because that's the easiest thing to draw first. So um, remember we wanna have eight people all together. Um, and so I chose in this one to have the clown right up front. He's gonna have big floppy shoes, um, maybe a flower in his hat, um, and he's gonna look however you want your clown to look. Then um, next I drew um, a soccer player, okay? Um, and he's kind of up front. I made mine a kid, so he's kind of um, shorter a little bit so that we can have some room for some people behind as well. And um, then next, I drew a tall lady with a pig on a leash, okay? Because I wanted her up front because I wanted to be able to have the pig, the whole pig in the picture. Okay, next, um, for my four people in front, and I decided four people in front and four people behind. And you can decide what you want to do. Um, so I had a little girl with a balloon um, over to this side. All right, so my four people up front are the t super tall lady with curly hair and a pig, a soccer player, the clown, and then a little girl with a balloon. And then behind them, um, I have a um, bike, a biker with glasses, a bike messenger maybe, um, and then I have three um, fairly 
um, normal looking business people. Um, I was gonna make this guy a um, rock star, but there wasn't enough room to really show his guitar. So you're gonna have to um, make decisions based on how much room do you have, how much can you show, um, but remember you want to have your eight characters completely drawn out. Use lots of detail so that we can kind of see um, like your soccer player, maybe a jersey number um, <clears throat> so that you know that he's a soccer player. Um, and then uh, the little girl with the balloon. Um, and then the business people, um, the example sheet kind of shows what business people might look like. Then when you're done, I'd like you to outline it either with um, black marker or with black crayon, whatever's in your kit. And then um, please use lots of color to make it interesting and fun. Um, remember, um, when your characters are overlapping each other, you're only going to see the whole character of the people up front and only partial of the people behind. Then add lots and lots of color after you've outlined. And remember, be creative and have fun. Bye.